Time for some cookery now, and we're back with Alex Hollywood, and uh, she's going to make a return to the uh, This Morning Kitchen. What are you going to make for us? I am going to make a chicken squash and roast pecan tray bake. Really easy. And you said this rosemary. is a good thing to do if you're at home, chuck whatever you've got in, Absolutely. and it's kind of just... It's one of those things you can open your cupboard and think... I mean, most people have got chicken pieces. Mm. Um, I've got these chicken thighs and they're boned. You can have them with a the bone in, you just... Yeah. Pick them a little bit longer. And I've got um, a huge amount of squash because I've got a garden, I like growing things. So I thought, what can I put with the chicken? Mm. Chuck that in as well. Add a little bit of cinnamon, um, some rosemary and pecans. And then in the end, you're going to sprinkle it with the gorgonzola. All right, so come on then. What I'm going to do first of all is, um, in here, I've got the squash that I've chopped up into nice cube sizes like that. You want them mm -hmm. about that big so that they'll cook through. And then I'm going to put a little bit of oil in like that and um, season them well like that, a little bit of sea salt as well, and about half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Cinnamon? Now, I love cinnamon. It goes really well with squash. Does it really? Oh, it's I've beautiful. Never done, it's I've never done that. It's really, things, really I've nice. Never, ever put it's them together lovely. Before. And, you know, I lived in Cyprus for quite a while and they put a lot of cinnamon in things and it's just got a great, great flavour. It warms everything up and it gives another dimension to the chicken. OK. So, OK, that's nice and it mixed up. And I'm going to bung that into there, like that, give that a bit of a shake so it flattens out. Okay. And then I've got the chicken thighs here. Now, they are boned. I'm going to handle them. I will wash my hands afterwards. These have been trimmed, but if you end up with chicken that you want to take some of the, the skin off, because I hate the bits that sort of hang over, these are fine. You can either cut them off yourself or get the butcher to do it. And what I'm going to do is just nestle them in here, like that, amongst mm. the... Um, and the good thing about chicken thighs is that if you do slightly overcook it, they still taste quite moist, whereas breast can get really dry, can't it? It can get dry. And if you're worried about that, then just buy it on the bone because you get more of a flavour and it stays more moist on the bone. OK. And these are so easy. It takes... The whole thing takes about 30 minutes. So it's ideal if you come back, you know, from school run and just thinking, what am I going to do for dinner? Kids love it. It's a really easy thing to do. And if you don't want to do um, the... the um, Pecans, if you've got nut allergies, you can actually just get some old stale bread, yeah. chop it up into pieces. I've got some there, I think. Is that what this is for? Yeah, let me just wash my hands very I just, I uh, just had a little bit. Well, you'll be lucky if there's any left. Yeah, I know. Phil keeps helping himself to oh, I, I can, I can I get it in as well. <laughs> so excited. You're all it. fingers and toes. <laughs> nut noise. <laughs> so I've got them there, yeah, before you eat them all. Um, just chop it up into cube pieces. Again, do pretty much what I did with the um, squash pieces. Bung it into um, a bowl bit of oil, bit of salt and pepper, stick them onto a tray, into a hot oven, about eight minutes or so, and then leave them there. And providing nobody eats them, you can mm -hmm. use them instead of the... <laughs> <laughs> don't know what you're saying. Instead of the pecans. Mm -hmm. So we've got that all ready to go then. What yep. I'm going to do quickly is just season the chicken on each breast, because you want it to go on each um, thigh, rather, because you want it to go nice and crispy. Shall well. I get this one out? Uh, yes, please, if you can. So, so that's it. That's it. That's you just it. put that in the oven like that? Bit, bit of rosemary. rosemary. It in like that, well, it that's doesn't fine. Get any easier than that. Do you want to pop it in that one? Then. That one goes in there. Then this one has already been in a, for 20 minutes. Where would right. you like it? If on you there? just pop it on here for the moment, that's great. And all I'm going to do now, it's been in 20 minutes. Look at that. Look how much lovely juice ready. comes out of it. I know it does. It's great, isn't it? And of course, you've got the squash to sprinkle these on or your croutons if you want. So a nice handful of that. And that's going straight back. Sorry, Phil. Oh, I you're popping it in the oven again? Yeah, because they're going to roast off. And then it's done. And how long do the pecans take to roast? Ten minutes. So the whole cooking time is going to be 30 minutes. So that's right. 20 minutes, come out, pecans, and bung then... it back in, and then that's and you, it. But you'd do the same with the bread, would you? You'd put that back in for ten minutes or not quite as long? Uh, not quite as long. Okay, if you're so going to just put that in, a little just bit. a little bit. And then you, you're what very we're going to do... Are you hungry or something? <laughs> <laughs> you and... know me so well. <laughs> So and then like, over here, plate it up, plate it up. <laughs> so over here, I've got some gorgonzola. I love gorgonzola, but again, if you've got a young family or people that don't particularly, I would sort of make more of a mess. And I, probably what I do is I'd have this in the fridge beforehand, mm -hmm. um, so that it, you can crumble it a bit more. But you can put feta on. You can put gorgonzola. You can put Stilton on. Is this feta? Um, I yes. love feta. But if you want, bung some feta in there as well. Feta's like my favourite. And babe. then, yeah, I'm more Stilton. We're just having a cheese board okay. now. And I'm just going to. I think that's... There we are. Bring it over and I shall dish it up for you. Mm. Um, let's have a little one. While you're dishing that up, we should ask you, you're um, judging BBC's Good Food Show in Birmingham, are you in June? No, I'm not judging it. Oh. I'm going up to do demos. Up oh. there. But I've, off, I've done food demos before. I love them. I mean, I've, I've, you know, I've been a recipe writer for years. I've been involved right. with food. Um, I've done some demos before and I'm, I'm very lucky that they've invited me back and asked me to do more food demos. Are you with Mary Berry? Um, 
I don't know whether or not she's there on that day. Lots of chefs go. They tend to go whether or not they can, you know, if they don't have filming commitments, then they go up then there. Then they go up there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I don't know who I'm going to be with. I just know that I'm booked at the NEC and then I'm going to be doing some other ones as well. Lovely. So it's quite exciting. Quite pleased with Right. Let's give it a And this is, the, um, this is the book that we've That's been... We're that's, talking about that's cooking tonight. That recipe is in that one as well. I've got two books. I've got my busy kitchen and this one as well. All of the recipes are easy and they're about using your time, you know, 20, mm. 30 minutes. And then you can sit down, you can eat with your family, because for me, the most important thing is sitting down with mm. people and eating. Yeah, absolutely. And all eating and it, together. And making it really easy. And you can, if you don't have squash, you can go and put sweet potato in. The squash is so sweet it's and nice, lovely. isn't it? And it's one of my absolute faves. Cinnamon is a nice touch as well. It's nice, isn't it? Isn't it? Just it a little really bit there in the background. Really nice it. Yeah. yeah, really good. Thank you very Thank much you indeed so for today. Much. That was lovely. Was really fun. nice. Nice to have you in. Thank you. Eat a bit more of that in a minute.